Hey everyone, Ryan Bradley here again. I want to show you a few other features of Okta access requests. Now specifically, you can use Okta to control access and time and ensure the users don't have access before they need it and for longer than they need it. So I've modified my request type for Figma that you saw from our last video here. And now the requester also indicates when they need their access to start and when they need their access to end. And if approved by their manager, they'll receive access on their start date. And I can also configure this so that it will be removed on their end date. I could also specify a set period of time for access to last like eight hours, but let's just go by the date they select. And I've updated my request type. So now, Let's see what it looks like for an end user. So as you recall, we've got my end user, Oliver, and he's going to say, I need access to Figma again. Great, collecting all the information. And let's have it start next week and go for the period of week. All right. Now we'll go in as his manager, Maple. And she has a new request to complete. So we know why Oliver needs Figma now. Let's just approve this. And everything's approved. Great. But when we go back to Oliver's dashboard, he still won't have access to Figma because we haven't reached the start date. Now, you can see that if I go back in and look at this from an admin view, find the particular request here. We can see that this request is pending and there's going to be another action that's created to assign access to Figma after the timer has expired and the start date has been reached. From this, you can see how you can use Okta to provide users with simple, easy access requests to any resource within your Okta organization and have that access start when it's desired and removed when you need it to be removed. Hope you enjoyed this video.